Hi family, this is Mama Lena. I'm back. And I had a few thoughts. I wanted to come on here to tell you how important it is for us to um, try to stick with this protest on the NFL. And feel free to share this video. Um, hit subscribe, share, make your comments because I do want to know what you think. I, I do appreciate your comments and your feedback on this. But as far as the NFL L protests go. You know, they're, the NFL is losing a lot of money. And I think I've said this on one of my other videos. But I, as a community, I don't think you realize the impact that we've already had. We've had a big impact on ticket sales. Now remember, ticket sales affect the bottom line of the NFL, which in turn affects um, um, the salaries of the owners and the people who really make the big money. It also affects the revenue for the stadiums that are built for these teams and then for the cities that the cities get revenue. And when the city builds these big stadiums for the teams, when, when the season for that team is over, the city also relies on that building to bring more um, income from other um, revenue from other activities during the off season. So the reason why the NFL and these um, Caucasians are so angry at our players because they're actually affecting the bottom line and our our players need to stay strong because what are they going to do? They could shut the whole NFL down and the players should won't really lose that much in the scheme of things because a football player only plays a good three or four years. So if we shut the NFL, if the NFL is shut down for say two or three years, because it's going to take them that long. If, if they try to fire all of our players, it's going to take them that long to train new players and new players take years to get good. So you're affecting, you're even making the white, the Caucasian haters pull out of the game. I'm telling you, black people, we have a lot of pull. We have a lot of pull. We just can't stick together long enough to affect what we want to do. You got a lot of coons I noticed on um, YouTube. Coons are coming out of the woodworks. Honey, they're paying people to disparage the players. They're paying people, black people. There's a lot of money in this. So if, if those players stick to their guns and then when the basketball season comes in and the NBA does the same thing, these white folks are going to have to cave to our demands. I hope you can see that because it's not just the players are going to lose their job. If those players lose their jobs, there's a lot of money to be lost from the owners of the team, to the NFL itself, to trickle down businesses, to cities, stadiums, and it's going to affect, it may not affect some, some of these cities like Seattle. They have um, so many tech companies that really hold up the economy in Seattle. But there's a lot of cities that depend on that revenue from, from them teams. And so you're really shaking America at its core, and I don't think that we realize how powerful that is. And if we're successful there, just think. Next. Okay, so I, I think you guys have heard about this um, young man in Atlanta that shut down a, a huge restaurant called Houston's in Atlanta. They shut him down this weekend because Houston's, the restaurant, refused to sit um, Mr. Morrison and his parties. He, Mr. Morrison is a young real estate mogul in Atlanta and they refused to seat him claiming that he had too many people in his party and even when he wanted to break his party up they wouldn't seat them so mr morrison called out ti and some celebrities and they shut it down in two days they shut the restaurant down and that's what we have to do start sticking together worldwide worldwide to break white supremacy we're not trying to take over the world or anything like that. That's not in our nature. We're not trying to kill anybody. That's not in our nature. All we want is equal treatment and equal opportunity. 
We want to be respected just like everybody else. That's all. Um, I just want you to know also how important it is, family, to open your own business. If you know, I don't care if if you grow potatoes out of your backyard for one season. Grow them, take them out to the to the market or to the corner on a Saturday and sell them. Start getting some kind of stream of income of your own. Side stream, side business. You've got to do it. You've got to do it because America is collapsing. It's not going to last that long. And all of these government programs, they're going to be shutting them down. So you've got to be prepared. It's not hard to own a business or start a business. Fear is what keeps us from doing it. Now, as for me, I've been I've been working on my business for for three years, and I, I I'm building it, and it's almost there. But listen, you have to remember, there's like my friend Mr. Morrison said, there's four tiers of survival in America. The first tier is owning a business. If you own a business, you control your own destiny. Yeah, it's hard work, but you know what? You're working, you're going out to work for the man eight hours a day. You probably won't even have to put that much time in your own business. Um, so you could own your own business or you could be a worker for the corporations who's going to fire you, ain't going to pay you fair, going to take all your time away from your family. Um, so you can own a business, you can be a worker, or you could be on government subsidies. Government, food stamps, Social Security, SSI, yada, yada, yada. Okay, you could do that. And the next tier under that is a life of crime because you you got to survive some kind of way. So most of us <clears throat> are on the bottom two tiers. A lot of us are on that second tier. We're working for other companies. But if we own our own business, okay, and it takes a while to really make a living, but you don't have to quit your job. Just start developing something where you're getting a side income. Um, anything. Grow a little garden. Um, that helps your budget where you can start saving some more money out of your grocery bill. Um Learn to cook at home, stop catering these restaurants, and spend your money wisely. And, um, you know, try to build something for you your, you and your future. Because this, I don't think this society is going to last. America, especially with Donald Trump in, in the house, it, it's, gonna, it's not going to last. Um, I'm getting a little worried about what's going on in America. I really am, and I want to say to my family out there and my kinsmen all over the world, get it together. Try to have your own side stream of income. We're all not poor. All of us are not poor. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of us that, you know, make very good livings, and um, we have, let's see, we only have, 0.1% of the very wealthy, only 0.1% of them are black. So we have a few very, very wealthy blacks. But for the masses of us, we're at the bottom. And in order to get a little higher, we need to become a little more self-sufficient, um, cater to our own businesses, and, you know, just start getting in code with each other so that when something happens, we have uh, some backup and some support. You know that, you know, we are good people. We don't have innate hate in us. We never killed another nation. And we don't steal people's identities. We don't change history. But we do invent. But when we do invent something and discover something, it's taken from us and someone else claims it. So we just have to get it together get self-sufficient, and whenever we can, not rely on other nations. 
So hit subscribe, please. I really appreciate your support. Make a comment because I want to know what your feeling is about this. Um, but I think that just think if we if we if the player NFL players keep protesting and then we get into the season of the NBA and if they start protesting, what what, what is the establishment going to do? Because the players are the product. With no product, you don't have no game. So, and even though it's causing the hater, the haters to stop buying, and we should stop buying and watching as well, so some of these networks can lose some money too, because they don't do nothing but spread lies on, on the news reports and propaganda. Let them all lose some money, and then see what they're going to do, how they're going to handle it. They don't want to get rid of that game. That's too much money. It's too much of money. They, it, even if they let only white boys play in the league, that who's going to watch those games? That's not going to be anything interesting. So remember, we're the trendsetters. We are the trendsetters. And what we do, the others follow. And when we realize that as a nation, we probably can um, enjoy a little more freedom and respect in the world. That's it. Like my friend Willie D says, no more talk.